Hey guys, it's CSFan001 here. Walking into part, what is this, uh, 8 of Let's Play Killzone 2. Last time we completed the... <coughs> Excuse me there. We completed the 5th mission of the game. This time we will start up the 6th mission. Uh, this is actually my second take of this because... I initially recorded part 8 with part 6 and 7, but... You guys saw probably that 6 and 7 weren't some of my better recordings, or especially 7. So I just decided, and I was doing kind of badly in the initial take of Part 8, so I just decided to redo it. Anyone besides me feel nervous babysitting a scientist? It's the Colonel's orders. We need to help track down so Sosa's defenses. I don't know. Feels like dead weight to me. You secure this shit, man. <laughs> Just doing a job. Right, let's move out. Okay, so we're out in the Helgest Wasteland with a shotgun. Yeah, I feel so much safer now that I have a shotgun. Have you seen the bugs yet? Big slimy fucking Helgas bugs. Oh, hey, buddy. I don't know. You could think of them as a useful part of the natural order rather than great big creepy corpse nibbling. Okay, you're right. Fuck that. Yeah, I don't want to hear you anymore. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I can't even hit him. No activity showed up in the area scans. My sample readings just confirmed the heavier hell gas weapons use a mineral called petrocyte. It's incredibly unstable. The ore actually blows. All out of this place. Once they export it, it is power. Now they hoard it for more. It's a lot less pretty when it's fired at you. Yeah. Fucking right. Wow, we secured the village without firing a shot at anything but the giant freaking bugs. Looks like that. Looks like the scout team managed to set up some kind of comms I hit the wrong button. I apologize for that, guys, because I have been playing a lot of Wolfenstein the last day or two, and now I'm a little screwed up with the controls. Uh, the shotgun, meanwhile, I think I've shown this before, does not actually have a sight on it. If you hit R3 to, as the sight button, you just get a flashlight. I don't know why that is. That seems kind of pointless. So yeah, I apologize if I make some uh, controller mistakes because I've been playing tons of Wolfenstein. good. Uh, there's not going to be any enemies here, so for like the first two or three sections, so you can just run on through. That antenna must be through here. Oh, this door's locked down good and tight. The line's being powered, but there's no control. We're looking for something remote. Come on, Sam. Let's follow the cable. Okay, whatever you say, Rico. Sergeant Velasquez, the security terminal here says that the Route 2 antenna control is shut, but I can't find a control to release it. I think it's open from a different location. All right, copy that. We'll look out for it. Be nice oh, if I could stop hitting the wrong button. Come on, Sam, keep up. Some of these guys might still be breathing. Sam has found something. We're checking it out. More like I just know where to go because I've played this mission quite a few times, even more recently going for the Plasma Trophy. Looks like something was dragged through this door. Ready? Let's do it. Yay! Rico knows how to kick open a metal door. <laughs> Great job. And empty room. But before we hit that switch, new weapon here. This is a unique weapon. I think it might only be available on like this mission and the next one. 
This is the bolt gun. It's basically it shoots sticky grenades. It basically shoots like sticky grenades is what you could consider it. But from everything I've read, this weapon was initially like a tool that they used and the Helgast ended up weaponizing it. Now, I don't think it was in, uh, I don't think it was in Killzone 1 or Killzone Liberation. If it was, I don't remember it. Though, admittedly, I've never actually played Killzone Liberation. I've only played Killzone 1 and 3. I own Shadowfall and still haven't even put it into my PS4 since I got my PS4 like three months ago, admittedly, which is really sad. Because like I said, now, even though I have plenty of time to play the PS4, now that I've cleared out some of my PS3 games and gotten through some stuff I was trying to get through on it, I now have Wolfenstein, and that is taking up more time than anything. I am loving Wolfenstein, though. It is so much fun. Uh, anyway, what we've got to do in this section, lots of higs. Uh, if you're fast, you can pretty much just run through this section like without even fighting anything. And Rico is not exactly helping me here. The bolt gun, it's okay. It's not bad, but it's not great. I just kind of want to use it here since we get it for the first time. It's not bad. Like I said, it's very powerful, but you have to usually hit the target or else it doesn't seem to do enough damage. It's cool, though, because you can stick the Higgs to walls and stuff, which is kind of fun. Kind of reminds me of the rail gun or the railway rifle, excuse me, the railway rifle in, uh... Yeah, yeah, I see that. It kind of reminds me of the railway rifle in Fallout 3. Oh, what the? Where did he even come from? And now I can hear my dogs barking downstairs. That's, that's just great. I am not having the best luck with this mission. And this is not even that hard of a mission. Okay, there we go. Finally. Jeez, that went really, really badly. But it's over. I am not amused. I am taking a weapon that I like to use more. This is the Helgist light machine gun. I don't think we've used it before. Oh, new enemy type, Helgi Spiders. Oh, these guys. Hey, buddy, come here. Yes, they jump at you and try to eat you, or something. And they explode when you shoot them into like a shocky electric mess. They're very annoying because they're hard to see at times. You never know when they're going to come at you. And they do a lot of damage like on the lead and stuff. They can about kill you in a couple of hits on the lead, which is stupid. Evelyn, we found some glowing cans. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Careful, it's volatile. You see, that's what I was worried about. I didn't want the spider to explode in the petrocyte container. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Uh, there's another bolt gun down here if you want it, but I'm just going to stick with the light machine gun. I just kind of like it better. Because the bolt gun, you have to be pretty accurate to use correctly. So, I'll guess snipers. So, this is just another uh, combat section. As you can see, the light machine gun, it's not the most accurate weapon in the world. Even when you burst fire it in, like, just a few bullets at once, but it's very powerful. So, overall, I really like this weapon. I think it's better than the ISA assault rock light machine gun, because partially because it reloads, like, in half the time of the ISA machine gun. As you're going to see here, it only takes a couple of seconds to reload, just like the assault rifles on, like, the light machine gun for the ISA. It takes, like, five seconds. So, it's actually a very strong weapon in that sense. I like it a lot. Okay, this section. Lots of enemies, and there's going to be an... You know what? Grenade out. Maybe it'll hit an exploding barrel. I don't know if it hit anything aside from the enemies, but it appears to have killed some stuff, and it looks like it did hit a barrel. Okay. That's good. Killed a few of them. Saved some ammo. Ah, uh, this weapon's going to become a lot more common now from now on. This is just a better weapon for them to use as well. So we're getting closer and closer to Vasari. 
And more Helgen Spiders. Excellent. Blah, blah, blah. As soon as you're done, I'll patch it in. Yeah, why don't you guys come out here and do this for us, then? If, if it's so easy, why don't you guys come out here and do this? And we'll sit around with the scientist and babysitter. What are you mad about, Rico? Or what are you even looking at? Like, you couldn't even shoot him from there. He's up here somewhere where you can't even hit him from down there. Who knows? This was actually the very last section of the game that I had to clear without dying, which was kind of nice. I saved it for last, though, because it was going to be easier to complete without dying than, like, the final chapter of the game. I wanted to get that one out of the way. Okay, this section you're going to have... Where are they? There they are. Smaller ATACs. Now, these ATACs die, like, a lot quicker. Oh, hey, guys. I think you get attacked by more of them on Elite, too. I may be wrong on that, but... That was just what I found on Elite. Jeez, die. And I'm on... I gotta reload. Great. I think you, you could potentially, like, maybe get through this part without killing them, but it's just safer to. Still one more, isn't there? Hmm, maybe not. Okay. Uh, let's climb up here, see if there is another one, because if so, I need to kill it. Nope, I guess I killed him. Okay, another wheel. Probably not a good thing, so we probably better move quickly. Rico, we're being attacked. They have us cornered here. I, I don't think Nat Cohen and Garza can hold them off much longer. We need help. Yet if it was us, we'd have to hold them off. Okay, so really cheap strategy you can use here. This guy actually won't attack you for whatever reason, which is really funny. But what you can do is sprint around to the side like that, and you can actually do the same strategy on Elite, and it actually does work. I think he just shotgunned me to the face. Ow. That strategy doesn't always work, but it is the easiest way to get through this. I think he shotgunned me to the face, because I had most of my health left. Dude, that was just mean. Like, you don't shotgun people in the face. This guy only attacks you if you run fast enough to get to him. Oh, what the? Oh, wow, I walked straight into a wall there. Well, since I am officially not having another... Again, not having a good run of this... What is it with me, like, not able to do this level very well? Like, this is not one of the harder levels of the game, for the most part. Okay, there we go. There we go. That took long enough. Or that took enough fails. Excellent. Run past the explody spiders. And the petrocyte. There's too many of them. We can't hold out. No, no. Rico, we're being attacked. That sounded glitchy enough. Wow, we're like half breaking the game with how fast we're moving through this, and it's making it harder to function. That's kind of funny. You know, 
Higgs. That's only like six Higgs, you know. That's not really a lot of guys. That's a lot of Higgs, motherfucker. That's like six of them. I could do. I could kill them so easily with one grenade. That's six of them. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, like, if you idiots got captured by six Helgist, that's just really, really bad. Ah, we can deal with that many daily, or like, minutely. Like, we deal with that many very often. Okay, now, at least there's more of them, so now it makes more logical sense that they could have failed to it or gotten captured because there were more than six, but still. I mean, you guys can't get captured by six of these freaking fags. I mean, think about it. Six of them? That is not a lot of enemies. And that's a lot of enemies in, like, an Uncharted game if you can't sneak up behind them or The Last of Us, but not really in Killzone, not as much. Okay, so now that we're through them, or there's still one more. Oh, there's an explosive back there. He must—he might have a grenade launcher, actually. Did he have a grenade launcher? Yes, he did, and he had the other uh, Helgus pistol. Okay. That went pretty well. Uh, next section of the level... More spiders, yay, and more bugs. Like, I really wanted to deal with that right now. Sniper rifle there if you want it. I don't really know why on this mission. It's not really all that helpful. And letting the game lag a lot there. And Helga Spider. No surprises today, sir. Or ma'am. Or whatever breed, sex, race of spider you are. All right, guys, I think that's a pretty good stopping point, though, because there's still a fair amount left in this mission, probably another 10 minutes. So next time, we will continue through Mission 6. See you guys then.